Today we're checking out the Limo One. This is a brand new robotic lawnmower that has some incredible new tech built into it. Thanks so much to Limo for sponsoring this video. You'll be able to support them in the Kickstarter down in the description below. Now the device I'm testing today is a beta unit. Now it performed well, but there are some features that are not fully perfected. So this isn't the final version. They're gonna make some improvements before mass production. Now there are four main things we're gonna talk about today that the Limo One can do. First off is it has an RTK V-SLAM system that's integrated together. Next, you have this crazy cutting deck with these dual rotary mulching blades. Then you have this new tracking tread system that makes this look like it's going to be able to climb any mountain. And then we also have an incredible durable design and the battery life that can mow up to an acre and three quarters in one full day. Let's get this set up and show you what it can do. First up, let's talk about how this is going to be navigating around your home. So here we have an RTK station, which is going to have GPS location so that it can then tell the robot where it is on your lawn. So here it's plugged in, it has its own power. It just needs to be placed away from a home um, or any tall trees or anything like that. So here we got great signal. Now it's going to use the RTK with the V-SLAM that's built into the robot. That's how it's being able to kind of know where it is and look around. So it's using the RTK to position it and then the V-SLAM to help additional position so they're overlapping and if the RTK positioning happens to kind of have a weak signal you'll still be able to have the robot navigate through that with the VSOM technology then as the RTK gets stronger it will have that double coverage so it knows exactly where it is on your lawn. Now that we have the RTK installed let's go ahead and map the LIMO so that it knows where it can go and we can create different zones and make paths between the zones so that it can go to each one. All right so now we're creating our first zone so I just have controls where I'm going to then drive around the border of the yard to map it out. Now one thing you can do is drive over the edge a little bit so it's gonna cut fully um, on parts of the lawn. I'll just have to follow the boundary and then I might have to do some trimming on the very edge. But uh, the great thing about these tread tires is they'll be able to go up on the concrete or different things like that so it can then cut perfectly there. So let's start mapping. And now I'm just going to use the on-screen controls to turn and go forward to map this out. They actually worked very well. And eventually there should be an auto mapping feature available so it will automatically learn your yard. And here we have a pretty difficult part of the yard, but with the treads, it will be able to go up a 45 degree slope. So it's not gonna have any problem with the slope here. And as I'm going around, I'm just going to follow the edge as close as I can, overlapping if possible, just so it gets to the very edge of the grass. And here we're driving all the way around to where we started. It has been confirmed. So now it's created an area, so I'm gonna give it a name. Now with cutting height, it can go from 1.2 inches all the way up to four, and then it's gonna be able to take care of whatever length of lawn you currently have. Um, then you have moving speed, so you can go um, from pretty slow to the fastest at one. We have the cutting speed, you can set it to, and then we also have the stripe angle. So you can have it go kind of north and south or east or west, depending on however you want your lawn. And then you can also have it go diagonal like that. So you have all those options right there. We'll start off by doing a 90 degree angle here. All right, and confirm. Let's go ahead, add the other areas, and then we're going to create a path between the two. All right, so up here, when we have the sidewalk, I'm gonna overlap it so it's able to cut all the way to the edge. So there's no left over that I need to go through and do the weed eater. Now one trick I figured out when mapping is if you start on the edge of a lawn instead of the corner, that's gonna help a lot. Now that we have our different zones, I just need to go through and create a channel. So I start here in the zone area and then I just drive to the next area. Once it's in that area, then it automatically saves it. And now we need to do one more. Now that we have all of our zones, we can see that here in the map and we are ready to start mowing. Now, just some quick things about mapping. That went so smooth. I had some great control there with the app. It didn't turn too much. It went at a great speed to get everything mapped out perfectly. And I had absolutely no issues. So the RTK is working great. Um, now that it knows the lawn, it can use that V-SLAM technology to work together. Next, the tracking treads are amazing. It's gonna have no problem going up and down different parts of the lawn. Now let's go ahead and start mowing. So here in the app you have all the typical options where you would want to mow the whole yard or you can go through and select just the specific zones that you would want to mow. And once you tap start mowing the Limo one will undock and head to the first lawn to mow. Now to cut the lawn, it ramps up its 16 inch ultra wide dual blades to 6,000 RPMs to be able to have a nice 
clean cut. Now to navigate through the lawn, it created a map based on the direction we wanted it to do in the app. And with that 16 inch deck, it's able to go up and down this lawn and cut it faster than any of the other robot mowers that I have. And this is only on 0.6 speed, not even all the way up to one. And here as it's going through cutting down this grass, it's using the 300 watt brushless motor to be able to output 1200 watts of power to bring this grass down to a nice maintenance level. This is going to be the longest the grass will ever be when it cuts, and then it's just going to be cutting a little bit at a time. Now those light cut dual blades are able to make a nice clean cut, but one thing that's super impressive about these are the high speed fans that are able to throw the mulch out of the side of the lawn mower. I haven't seen this on any other robot lawnmower. It's so cool to see how powerful this is, and it's gonna be able to handle lawns at any length. Now once it completes mowing the inside of the lawn, then it's going to do one perimeter cut around the edge of the lawn. Now there will be a clip flex accessory that will allow you to discharge the grass downward instead of to the side. Docking to recharge. Now once it's finished with this area, it would move to the next area you've selected or here it will automatically go back to the charging dock where it automatically docks and charges to be ready for the next day. Here's a quick recap of how mowing that lawn went. So we ended up mowing it two directions just to have the full look. So here it was in the morning and here it was in the afternoon after we mowed. That wide cutting deck really adds to the visible lines. And overall, this turned out amazing. Now it's time to check out more about the RTK system with the V slam. So we're gonna test out different obstacle avoidance. Now on the front, there is a bumper. So if it bumps into anything, that will kind of stop and reposition it. But let's see what happens if it detects objects that go in front of it. Now it's going to be using the dual RGB cameras to be able to detect different obstacles, but also using the five ultrasonic sensors to see if any objects are near. So the Lima one can detect children, pets, flower beds, and much more. So here, a simple test of me standing in front of it. It saw me, it then decides to drive around me. All right, next we're going to try a moving object. So there I put a bucket in front of it. It stops, it says, uh, oh, I can't go this way. I'm gonna turn around and keep going on my pattern. Now, once I removed the bucket, it continued on its path. And here you can see it passed next to where I had the bucket. But then as it was going, it said, oh, hey, I can actually go back. That bucket's no longer there. And it was able to completely mow all of this lawn, even though I had an obstacle in the way. And there it completed it 100%. And here I was trying to get it to run over this garden hoe, but it saw it and said, oh, hey, I need to go around. So it's not going to have any problem with any objects in the way. Now, one thing that's also very interesting that keeps this safe, if it happens to be picked up at all, it will immediately stop. You also have the emergency stop button on the back to stop it from moving at all. Now, we couldn't get the RTK to show a low signal, but you can see how accurate it was in following where I mapped the lawn. And with the integrated V-SLAM, it was able to be very precise in navigating around different objects and areas of the yard. Now it's time to talk about the dual mulching blades with the 16 inch deck. Now, as you can see, I haven't pre-mowed this at all. This is able to take on pretty much whatever length of lawn you already have. And as you continue to mulch, it just keeps looking better and better. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut pretty low here so you can see how wide that deck is and how well it is able to cut this longer grass. So there you go, just after one pass, you can already see it had no problem there. Here on the edge where it's kind of the edge of the deck, it just matted it down a little bit. So let's go ahead and do a couple more passes, see how it looks. You can see how nice it is able to cut that. And as you're cutting weekly, a couple times a week, you're only really gonna be cutting a very small amount every time. And you'll be able to increase the speed as you're cutting less grass each time. So there you go, that is your 16 inch cutting depth. So it's doing great there. And as it goes back and forth, it will be able to cut all this. Let's take a closer look at the dual blades. So here this floating deck can go from 1.2 inches up to four inches. But here as it raises, it allows us to clean it and we can see how intense these blades are. Now they can be removed and you can go sharpen them or you can replace them. Now let's take a look at the mulching blade. Now this is something I haven't heard of before, but you can see here that's where it's cutting on the side and it has these unique kind of spikes pointing up that when it's spinning at that fast speed, it's creating that airflow to shoot the mulch 
out of the sides and it works very well. Now these blades do add more noise to the Limo One versus other robotic lawnmowers, but this all adds to a beautiful cut. Now, as I've used other robot lawnmowers in my backyard, one of the main problems I have is they're getting stuck on my little concrete border. But here with the Limo One, we have track treads that are able to pretty much drive over everything. It can go up and down any obstacle that I've put in front of it and we've had no problem with it getting stuck at all. If for every reason you needed to move it, you can just go into the app, use the remote control, and then you can then control it where you want it to go. It is about 80 pounds, a little hefty, but it has so much ability to be able to move itself out of if it got stuck anywhere. But the good news is, is it can pretty much go anywhere it needs to go to be able to get your lawn mowed. Now, some of the biggest benefits of these track treads is it's able to go up a 45 degree slope. Now here in this area, I constantly have robots getting stuck or sliding and not completing it. But this was able to go around the corner at a steep on slippery grass, no problem. Then you also have a two inch vertical clearance. So if there's something that it needs to go up or go down, it is able to do that. Here we tested it on the stairs and as we drove it manually, we were able to get it to easily go up and down without it getting stuck on these stairs at all, which is so impressive to have. So it has these front wheels that are able to help it balance and then it uses the track treads to have the grip to be able to move up or down. So here it's showing the mowing area that it has, how much the current task it's done, and then you'll see where it has actually mowed on here. So as it's going, it will complete um, mowing all of it with the green. You have the options to redock it, you can pause the mowing and so on. Then you also have the option under the map management where you can go through and adjust how it's gonna mow a specific area. So let's say this area, I want it to change the stripe angle. So I can go in here and I can adjust, maybe we want it um, perpendicular from what it normally does, or if we want it at a 45 degree angle, we have all those options. Then we can just confirm to save it. And here we can adjust the cutting height. So it can go from uh, 1.2 on the final version to four inches. Then you can do the moving speed for the most part. We've been mowing at 0.6, or you can set it all the way up to one, which is going to be great on a lawn that you're doing maintenance on, just mowing a tiny bit at a time. And it's gonna be able to mow that 10,000 square feet per day. Then here you have the cutting speed. So this is the speed of the blades and there is your angle. So those are all the uh, options you get per each zone. So you can go through and customize what each zone is going to be. And then you'll have the option to have it set at certain times where it can then mow. Um, so every day or every couple days, you're having it mow that specific area. So your lawn is always looking fresh. So here you can see I have created these four different zones. And then here we have channels connecting the zones. And you could also create no-go zones where it will avoid certain areas. Now, if you couldn't tell yet, the Lima One is built to last. This is such a sturdy lawnmower, which uses a lithium iron phosphate battery, which retains 90% of their capacity after 1500 charge cycles. And then it has an aluminum alloy that was built on a FEM simulation to make sure it's going to be lasting such a long time. The construction looks so solid. And just a reminder that we are using an engineering prototype for this video. This is not the final version. It's also built on a brushless motor design, and then it's IPX4. And the four means it can be out in the rain and you know the hose sprays on it and it's going to be just fine. Now one of the great parts about the Limo One is its battery life. So with just one hour of usage, it would be able to mow 10,000 square feet of lawn. If you use the full battery life, you could get 25,000 square feet of lawn. And if you have it recharged three times and mow throughout the day, you could have it mow 1.75 acres, which is just a ton, a ton of work to get done all in one day without you needing to do anything. So it's great to see the efficiency of the Limo One being able to mow so much in such a little amount of time. It's now back in the charger after a long day of work and here you can see the end result. These lawns look great. And over here where it was super lawn, it is now at a reasonable level where we can just continue on the maintenance cuts every week. And after spending the day, I'm so impressed with all the new abilities that the Limo One has. From being able to navigate through my yard with the RTK and V-SLAM technology together, I had no issues, it was able to go exactly where we wanted it to go, to being able to cut with the dual mulching blades that spin at 6,000 
RPMs. That makes the lawn look so good. I couldn't believe you could see the little mulch uh, coming out the side because those are spinning so fast and it has that kind of airflow going through it. To being able to have the track tread tires that makes it so it's never going to get stuck. I've pretty much had every lawn mower that's come to this house get stuck and this had absolutely no problem. It's gonna be able to get to exactly where it needs to go to be able to completely mow your lawn. And then seeing how well the battery life works and it just being a tank and the quickness in which it is able to mow the lawn. Now, if you wanna support the Limo One, make sure you check out the link down in the description below. Limo is offering a special discount right now. So the link in the description will have real-time discount information and pricing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.